All right, for this next experiment, I, we're going to test out the uh, I2C decoding, the protocol decoding on the Roden Schwartz RTB2K. Uh, in this case, I have a small board setup. This is a DIY timer board where I have a 8051 microcontroller talking to a RTC, uh, which is a DS1307 board. The communication happens over I2C, but the 8051 really doesn't have an I2C master-slave peripheral. Uh, so what I've done is I've written the, uh, in, uh, the I2C master in in software which is just doing a bit bang and then it uh, it tries to get uh, the uh, date time uh, via that software uh, software code so we're gonna debug and diagnose and the performance of the board using the scope all right I already have the uh, Roden Schwartz configured to decode the I2C bus it's been configured to use um, D0 and D1 from the logic analyzer. No analog channel is being used at this point. Um, it's already set up. So if I just press clear screen, uh, you can see that the microcontroller is talking to the DS1307. So you can see the microcontroller chucking out the address 68 on the bus, uh, talking to, uh, then sending in a command 0D so that it can start from the zero register and then again then starting a read operation and it's getting uh, the data there itself so it's just getting the seconds data and so on so we're going to take a look at the data sheet in a bit but you can see the the data changing here and uh, it's working without uh, any glitch at this point so my software routine uh, gets a thumbs up at this point <laughs> um, pressing the zoom button and we can really go into inspection of the uh, waveform itself you can see the timing and everything. We can stop at any given point of time, see if the uh, width of the pulses that I'm generating uh, using uh, my software routine are good enough or not. So you can see a little bit of a glitch happening there. All right, uh, there's the acknowledge, so on and so forth. So you can use the uh, logic analyzer to really see uh, if uh, your signals are doing exactly what you wanted to do and then are being decoded correctly or not and uh, in this case uh, things seem to be working uh, more or less fine all right so this is the data sheet for the ds1307 uh, it has it's an rtc basically we're going we're going to jump directly to the uh, there we go. So this is the, this is the timekeeper registers. Uh, as you can see, it's already uh, registers are already in BCD format. So basically, what that means is it's going to just use uh, seven bits. Um, and uh, the first byte to come out of it, if I set this uh, address to zero zero, is going to be the seconds, and that's what basically what we saw in the video. Uh, so seconds and minutes, then hours, then day, date, and so on and so forth. So more or less, uh, my software routine works for the DS thirteen zero seven, and uh, I guess that's a wrap.